Hey guys, what's up? So I'm gonna show you guys another cool mod update today and this mod is off the find for Minecraft 1.4.2. I'm gonna be lagging in this video because I am actually recording with Comtysa Studio 8 which I normally record with Fraps but the reason why I'm recording with Comtysa Studio 8 is because joining me today is Edgar. What's up Edgar? So anyways, I'm sure all of you guys know what Optifine does. Optifine will reduce your lag in single player and in multiplayer in a PvP server anywhere in Minecraft. You'll be reducing your lag and it's very simple to install. The moment you have installed Optifine, you won't be lagging, but I'm lagging. You can see that I'm lagging in this video because I'm not recording with Fraps. And if I press F3, you'll be able to see that I am running at 35 frames per second. With Fraps, I'll be up in the 200s because you guys know what I'm running on. Anyways, uh, uh, right up here, you'll see that I have Optifine installed. It'll show a little word text right here that says Optifine, what version you're in. Anyways, there's only one version of Optifine at the moment. I believe it's Ultra or Smooth, one of those. I'll link it in the description so you guys could download Optifine. Optifine is very ideal for texture packs because it'll automatically patch your texture packs. If you guys have a ton of texture packs, go ahead and install Optifine because it'll patch all of your texture packs. How do you like Minecraft 1.4, Edgar? It's great. You get to ride or control pigs nice and optifine does edit base classes so if you guys have a super huge mod pack going on if you install optifine it could actually crash your game so be aware of that but anyways if you go and press escape go here to options video settings you'll see that there's a ton of new tabs available i've covered most of all these tabs in my previous video so you guys could check that out i'm not going to go briefly and you know explain everything how i used to in my old videos but anyways i'm just going to show you guys some cool things such as the render distance it comes with a slider so you can move it left and right really awesome Awesome. so you could change the distance anywhere you like now there's a texture pack button there's always been one but now you could just click on this while in a server and you could change your texture packs in a server so that's very ideal instead of leaving the server you could just click on this tab animations details and if you hover over a tab it will give you a brief description of what the tab uh, has and it will give you the best setting so if you hover over uh, performance and all that stuff it'll tell you which one's the best one which is max FPS so now I'm in single player I went ahead and left the server for me to show you guys my FPS while recording with fraps now if I press F3 you guys should be able to see that I'm running at 120 FPS now this is with fancy settings and all that good stuff and this world is pretty cool it's an amusement part just like what I said in too many uh, the items video anyways if I go here to options video settings and if I change the fancy to fast and change my render distance to very low and my smooth lighting to off you'll have yourself the best settings trust me minecraft will look really cheesy like look how cheesy this looks but you will have yourself the best settings if you guys always lag in servers don't you hate that when you see like players lagging really bad either that's the server connection or that's you actually lagging so now let's look at my fps i'm gonna press f3 and it's still the same it didn't really change even with the, like the lowest settings it's still around the hundred zone so that is basically it. Optifine will reduce your lag guarantee. Go ahead and install this mod. I'm going to do a tutorial, so I'm going to show you guys how to install this mod. It's actually very simple. And thank you for joining me, Edgar. This was a very short video because I just wanted to do an update video of Optifine because I want to inform everybody that Optifine is now available. I'm going to be looking forward to other mods. I want to see what huge mods are now available in Minecraft because Minecraft 1.4 is out. I'm going to show you guys how to update your mods. Once Mod Loader has officially updated, I'm going to show you guys a Let's Make a Mod video and a lot of other cool things I've been working on. So anyways, if you guys are still interested of Optifine and if you guys want to install Optifine, let's go ahead and see how to install Optifine. See you later, Edgar. Go get Optifine. Yeah, go get Optifine. If you guys want to see Edgar's uh, channel, links in description. You can check that out. And there we have it. Let's go ahead and install this mod. All right, so let's go ahead and install this mod. This mod is really easy to install, so you shouldn't have any errors. I apologize if I can't really see your guys' comments. Check this out. This is the new update of YouTube, which I really don't like. Right, check this out, guys. The comments look entirely different to me. I don't know what happened two days ago my YouTube has totally changed and I really don't like it I sent a feedback saying I want my old one back because I don't like this new update of the comments look at this This is kind of weird because I can't really focus because all these pictures are here and I don't know what to do really there's a reply right here but I don't really like it especially if I go to the video I'm not sure if you guys experienced this yet but check this out guys look how weird this looks uh, let me know if your guys' YouTube looks like this, or probably you guys already, you know, had this update, but maybe you guys are still back in the, like, old updates of YouTube, but check this out. The title is not 
in top of the video. It's below the video. And the comments, like, I can't really focus because there's just so much thumbnails and, uh, yeah, yeah look, there's someone saying I hate it. You know? Anyways, yeah, that is just a YouTube experience that's going on that I don't really like. But anyways, the first thing I'm going to want to do, of course, before installing this mod is to go here to Options and Force Ultimate Game. The reason why I'm going to Force Ultimate Game is because I have mods currently installed. If you guys have mods currently installed, I always recommend to back them up because you're never too sure if this mod is compatible with any of your mods. If it's not compatible, you will get a black screen and you won't be happy. So Options, Force Update, and Login to download a brand new Minecraft mod jar in which we're going to mod it. I'm going to go ahead and leave this updating so it can remove all of my mods. I'm going to minus this and you're going to get the download from my description. It's going to take my website. You're going to get the download and drag it here to the desktop in which you can see it better and it's going to be in a zip. So once you have this, let's go ahead and install this mod. It's very simple to install. You're going to go here to start, search your program file, you're going to type in percent app data percent and for Windows XP users, I totally misspelled that. I apologize. So percent app data percent right here on the start and it should take you up here to the roaming folder. Click on the roaming folder and you should see .minecraft in the very top. When you go into your .minecraft folder, you're going to see bin resources, save, and everything else. Alright, so go into your bins folder. Before you open up your Minecraft jar that's located in your bin folder, you have to make sure you have your Minecraft game closed. Here's my Minecraft game that I just forced updated. You have to exit off your Minecraft game before installing any mods. So exit off your Minecraft game. Now right click your Minecraft jar that's located in your bin folder. Open with WinRAR. You're going to open up your Minecraft jar with WinRAR. Go ahead and open that up and move it aside. The first thing you have to do, of course, before installing any mods is to delete meta-inf. You have to delete meta-inf. So right-click meta-inf and delete files. Say yes and delete meta-inf. Now meta is gone. Now we can continue. Open up Optifine. So double-click Optifine and move that aside. You're going to see a lot of files from Optifine. You're going to select on any file that you like and press Control a You're going to highlight all the files from Optifine. Highlight all the files and drag it all into your Minecraft.jar side. And replace press OK, and you are done with Optifine. That is basically how to install the mod, guys. It's actually very, very simple. If you guys have any issues, any problems, I have help forums. Go to my help forums and post a topic. I will try to help you at my best. So, anyways, um, if you post a comment on YouTube, I'm not going to be able to actually like look at it because uh, YouTube really screwed up this update, and I'm not really pleased of it. I kind of don't like the new update of YouTube. That's just my opinion. I like the old one when I could actually just look at... Uh, the hey look there's bats everywhere i liked it better when i could just look at the the comments very simply oh man explosions everywhere anyways that is basically it i'm gonna go ahead and catch you guys later thank you guys for all your support i am gonna do a uh, bigger mod review so don't you worry i just uh the reason why this mod review was kind of like weird was because uh not only i was like kicked out of my room for a little bit but uh some stuff are going on around here and I can't really explain it. Anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys later. Thank you.